Hello all, how are you doing? Um, I am here with another candle review for you. I just finished up Ski Lodge. I was chomping at the bit to get this candle. Um, as soon as I saw Hearth and Soul um, review this one, I was like, I've got to have that. I can't wait till it comes out. Um, and it took a while for my store to get it in. And so I finally just ordered it online because I just, I couldn't wait. I had to have it. And I was starting to get scared that it wasn't going to be released nationwide. So I ordered this maybe like a month and a half ago. And I just now got around to burning it. And, um, oh my gosh, guys, it's, it's just awesome. Um, from the time that I saw his review to when I actually burned this, I saw several blog posts and reviews about it, and Sean's review was pretty positive. He really liked this, but then I saw a lot of other reviews after his where people were saying a lot of negative things about it, like it smells like mothballs, it smells like um, when you have a room and it's all musty and gross in there because the door has been closed. Um, so I was kind of wondering, you know, what's it really going to be like when I burn it? Um, I personally love this candle so much. Um, I tend to really like candles that are unique and don't really smell like everything else. And this candle is actually, for once, something new. It's not a repackage. And I love that. I can appreciate it. So let's talk a little bit about Ski Lodge. Okay, so Ski Lodge is from the Snow and Slopes collection. It has probably the most beautiful label in the world. Here we go. It says Ski Lodge in gold. Um, it just says scented candle. At the bottom it says Bath and Body Works Home. And it is so pretty. It's got this beautiful cedar lodge. It's like all stacked with multiple tiers. Um, it's got all the windows, all the trees with snow on them. And the trees where the snow is and the rooftops where the snow is. Um, it's glittery so like when you rub your finger on it you can actually feel the glitter it's kind of hard to see it on camera but you can kind of see it shimmering a little bit as I move it this is like so beautiful it is so pretty looking um, of course it has the snow and slopes lid and it is a very deep brown leather colored wax very lodgy um, lodges tend to be you know all wood um, or paneling, kind of dark. Um, yeah, very lodgy with the dark brown wax. So um, packaging for me personally, I guess I could see where people might think this is not appealing. I personally think it is. It looks like a postcard. It's just so wintry and it just it's just awesome. I love the way this candle looked. And I love the dark brown wax. It's kind of a masculine candle. Um, it's more catered towards like what a guy would like a candle to look like instead of maybe what a girl would like a candle to look like. Um, but I, I think it's beautiful. So it says, A fragrance inspired by the cozy winter getaway from the fall evergreen trees to the comforting warmth of the wooden lodge, smoky vanilla, deep green cypress, and rich agar wood. Agar wood? I honestly don't know what agar, agar wood is. I don't know what that is. Um, I do know what cypress is, and I do know what vanilla is. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, performance, I can talk about that first. This candle burned like an absolute dream. Um, I have burned two, I think, maybe three. I know I burned the Marshmallow Fireside from this packaging and this one, and they both burned like a dream. So um, it burned wonderfully. Um, wicks were high, flames were high, nothing, no wicks were drowning, no wicks were extinguishing. It put out the smell, it burned perfectly. I didn't have to drain the wax. I had literally no issues at all. It didn't start to fizzle out halfway down. It burned perfectly from start to finish and you can't complain. I mean, I just, I cannot complain about this candle. Okay, so the notes. Smoky vanilla, absolutely. Um, I don't know if it's the agar wood or the cypress, but you definitely get a wood note. It smells, I like the description of smoky vanilla. It smells very smoky not in like a gross ew burn smell but as in like a cozy fireplace smoky type smell um i think mainly you get vanilla um 
it's it's a vanilla scent but it's not just pow sweet cookie buttercream frosting vanilla um, it's more kind of like the Madagascar vanilla where it's the vanilla is mixed in with other things and so it's very complex so you don't smell this and smell like a vanilla cookie or you know it's not like that it's got a vanilla scent but it's different and the difference is it has this kind of woodsy note in there as well it is very interesting and very unique um, no matter what room I was in I could smell this candle because the smell didn't blend in with other things in my house like room sprays or perfumes. It's distinct and because of that it's easily perceptible like you can say, oh, I smell that candle. You know, um, I was actually in the bathroom taking a shower and I could smell this candle from in the kitchen while I was in the shower with the hot steam and everything. I could still smell it because it's unique. It stands out and you're like, hey, that's that candle instead of, hey, I smell something that smells good. What is it? Um, hopefully that makes sense. It's a, it's a smoky toasty vanilla -y scent. It's kind of masculine, but it's not musky. Um, it's not musky at all, and so because of that, it's just perfect. Um, it's just perfect. It's, it's very unique. I will say that this is um, probably pretty polarizing. I think, I think you're either going to adore it or you're going to absolutely hate it. And from what I've seen on reviews, I think that that, that's the case. Um, I love it. My mom loves it and my sister loves it. So, um, we all three adored it. I actually already purchased another one. Um, so I have another one that I'm going to kind of hoard <laughs> and not burn right away in case it doesn't ever come back or anything like that. Um, but I burned through one and it was awesome. So I have another other ones stashed away because this is a unique scent it's not a repackage for once and for that alone it's worth buying and checking out um I just love it so let me know what you thought of Ski Lodge um this is one of my new favorites I just it was just awesome for me um so I'm in love with it let me know what you guys thought that's all I have to say about the wonderful amazing Ski Lodge um I would say the strength of the throw was probably an seven or an eight it was it was pretty strong and like I said it, it was easily perceivable you could see it you can smell it you know because it was unique so it didn't blend in with other stuff just everything about it the packaging the uniqueness of the smell the pretty dark wax how it looks kind of masculine lodgy um the throw everything combined I give this like a, a 10 out of 10 it's like a perfect candle in my book when I think about perfect candles this one's going to have to go on that list. So let me know if you guys love it or hate it. I think there's not going to be a lot of middle ground on this one. Um, so yeah, that's it, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!